Greetings friends, Jawless Paul here. In this video, I wanted to talk about Have a Nice Death. Uh, it came out on Early Access recently, uh, March 2022, I believe. And I wanted to talk about some of my initial impressions and what I like about it, what I hope in the development cycle they, they add or fix to the game. And yeah, just kind of just talk about the game in general. So the first thing I want to talk about is the graphics and audio. The game has a very kind of monochromatic feel to it. There are a few things that have color. Some of the attacks of the enemies are colored. Some of the, there's like warning, like when they put an exclamation point when an enemy is about to attack, that's red. The animas that you use to heal yourself, those are colored. The buffs and items that you pick up are colored. Uh, but otherwise it's very it's it's very monochromatic which is cool in a lot of ways it's got a very uh, distinct style and theme which i appreciate but it also makes some of the projectiles that aren't colored very very hard to read and very very hard to avoid because it's just it looks like the background um, so that does kind of bother me right now. I hope that they adjust it. However, uh, as far as like the theme goes, the animations, the, uh, just the kind of the cartoon style of the game, I really like it. I think that they knocked it out of the park in terms of, uh, just what the, what the style of the, of the animations and, and the characters look like. It, it's got a good sense of humor. It's got, you know, it's very fluid. The the movement is is pretty fluid. It's also got like amazing cutscenes. As far as audio goes, I think that they did a great job with with the music. The best music I think is the is the opening credits music and the the loading screen music actually. The actual music that you hear in the in the levels is not as memorable, I guess. There are some pretty cool uses of like the the mouth harp the, like the twangy <laughs> mouth harp thing and uh theremin and some other some other cool things uh kind of style wise they decided to go with like a gibberish voice uh sort of idea so you read the text yourself and you hear their gibberish of their voices over top they, lots of games do this i like it i think that they did a good job with the with the recording of the voices they sound funny they sound pretty interesting so let's talk about gameplay a little bit this game is is a 2D platformer roguelite. So you really want the, the gameplay to be fun and interesting right out of the gates. That's one of the things that people like about roguelites. They like the challenge to be there right at the beginning. They want uh, it to be, at least for me, I want it to be interesting from the moment I push start to the end of the run. I think that they did a pretty good job the scythe is the only weapon you have at the beginning, and sometimes it takes a while before you find your next weapon. It's a kind of a bummer. There is a lot you can do with the scythe. There's a charged up attack. There's like a, there's several different types of moves you can do with the scythe. I quite like it, but after your, you know, 20th, you know, 20th, 30th, 40th run, it's going to feel a little bit boring to go through like four or five you know whole whole stages without any weapons if you don't find equipment uh, storage rooms that can be a little bit boring i guess the first five to ten minutes of a run can often feel very samey and that's that that i hope that they adjust that and maybe give you some variety um the combat feels very very smooth and and good in terms of the the different weapons that you can get and the spells they look interesting they feel you know powerful or you know some of them feel fast and some of them feel kind of slow and chunky and i like that um as far as like balance though uh, it seems like there are some weapons that are very very uh amazing <laughs> or spells i should say too um that are super super good and then some that are kind of kind of trash kind of kind of absolute garbage right now you don't really want to use them and they're not fun to play with and they you know they're so slow they they have good damage but they but they're super slow there's a lot of weapons like that and that kind of for me is a little bit of a bummer i hope that they bring some balance it seems like the cloak weapons which are the ones that you don't don't require mana the cloak weapons are somewhat underpowered compared to the spells spells uh, cost mana and that can be tough until the later parts of a run where you've got mana regeneration hopefully you've got like mana uh you gain mana when you kill an enemy that's the, maybe the best one so you can use really high 
mana cost uh, spells. And like as soon as you clear a room, your mana is all the way back to full and you can just run right away into the next area. Or even like really fast spells where you're using a little bit of mana, but you, so long as you don't deplete your mana all the way down to zero, it will regenerate a little bit faster. So I recommend if you've got it, one of those, don't don't spam, spam it all and then wait, you know, send off a couple projectiles, wait for it to come back and then spam off. So don't you don't ever take it all the way down to, to zero because then it there's like a, a reset. There seems to be a reset when the, the mana hits zero. So the balance does feel a little bit off and that's a bummer for for now. Of course, it's an early access. I'm, I'm, I'm in under no delusions right now. It's it's an early access and that's to be expected. Uh, somewhat, although I do feel like just generally the cloak weapons are obviously less powerful than the spells. Um, and that goes that also goes with the, the curses that you can get. So there's a there's a spell tree and a blue. I think the blue is like a defense tree. And then there's a red tree, which is your scythe and uh, cloak weapons. Just generally, there's there's obviously there are things that buff all th all three. Just generally speaking, the spell I if I can find a good spell and I can find some mana regeneration, the the run is kind of kind of kind of takes care of itself. At this point, I just like to say if you're enjoying the video, if this is helpful for you or interesting to you, please like it. I really really appreciate it. So I guess I'd say if, if would I recommend the game at this point? This to me, this game harkens back for me to how Hades was when I first. Uh, when I first fired it up uh, back in 20, 2018, it was early access, and obviously there was there was a lot a lot that was missing and didn't you, you couldn't do everything. But there were such there were such good mechanics underlying that that I was very excited to jump back in and play. And I feel the same way about Have a Nice Death. And the aesthetic is there, you know, um, in early access Hades. You, you definitely felt like you knew what the aesthetic was going to be. The art style was very consistent. I mean, it's it's fantastic. And I feel similarly with um, Have a Nice Death that there's a level of, of baseline polish that everything that goes from here is just going to be like gravy. And uh, I like gravy a lot. Um, so anyway, I guess that my final thoughts is it's it's really fun to play. There are some problems and balance issues, and hopefully they'll fix some of the, the trouble with like things being readable on the screen. I think that's pretty important that they kind of figure out a, a solution for that. But yeah, it's it's super fun, and I'm really excited to see where the game goes from here. So yeah, have you picked up Have a Nice Death yet? Do you plan on buying the game in early access? Do you even play early access games <laughs> or do you just like to check them out on YouTube? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out. And then check out this next video. I put a list together of current uh, overpowered builds that you can that you can put together and have a nice death. And I hope that's interesting to you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll catch you later. Take it easy.